Uh, people love seeing action, especially li I think that's why the WoSOP did so well and got so many people there was just the, the cameras, right? Yeah, you everybody wants excited. to be on TV. Yeah, and you start to see yourself yeah. in that situation. Uh, that's how you become a celebrity, right? You yeah. don't have to be a, a, a professional. I mean, look at uh, who won the 2003 uh, main event, Chris Moneymaker. Mm -hmm. uh, an accountant, he, right? An accountant. He yeah. used to play with his buddies, you know, in their garage. And, you know, hits it big. We actually had him at our club playing. Mm. Uh, had a great tournament with him. That's cool. Yeah, super nice guy. Very personable. If you ever see him out there playing, he, he loves to talk to people about poker, so don't be afraid to say hello. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, just an average Joe has now won a satellite into a tournament where now he's a millionaire. Yeah. If he can do it, why can't I do it? Right, right, right. Um, I've played the World Series. I have not played the main event. I've played some smaller tournaments. I have yet to cash for some reason. I think I'm still getting my, still yes. learning. <laughs> it's a man. You not only do you have to be playing on point, but you uh, you have to get catch cards too. I've, I've I think I've maybe played like 15, 16 at this point. I played the main three times. Yeah. Yeah, and that's uh, man. There's nothing like that one. Yeah. It's it's a very juicy game. You know, yeah. it's way it's wild how how much juicier it is than the a thousand and fifteen hundred one. Yeah, because it's the the main stage, it's the main one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, did you uh, did you cash in any of those? Uh, I did. Uh, Twenty sixteen is like three hundred or three fifty. I don't know, somewhere in the three hundred. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, it. Was is definitely I'm. Obviously not pro, uh, but uh, it was a lot of fun. I got to uh, uh, sit next to Asfandiari. Oh, he yeah. Was sadly on my left for one day. <laughs> that was brutal. Oh, man, there's this one. There was this one hand that I was in the hand. I was pretty sure I knew where he was uh, in the hand, and I was ready to call off on the river, but a really – it, it came ace on the river and I, I just checked back and he, he did have, he did have a gutter in, in the, in the flush draw there. And, uh, I was just ready to call off on the river and that would have been massive. But, um, so it was very disappointing in that hand, Wow. but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but it, but it happens, right? Yeah. So, uh, but that was a lot of fun, man. He and I, uh, ended up grabbing some foe oh, good. La later. We were, we were joking a lot. So he was a really cool guy to, to, to talk to and play with. So that I've, was a lot I've of fun. I've got some great Esfandiari stories. Yeah. Yeah. So. Because he plays here. Yeah. He, he has, you know, his brother used to live here. Okay. So he came to town a few times, but how I know him is he used, to, he grew up in the Bay area. And he played at Bay 101, which is where my mom dealt. My mom was dealing to him one day, and this is before he was famous. He was just a poker player. He's sitting there at the table on his cell phone, and he says, hey, guys, you know, getting ready for my 21st birthday. Y'all coming to my 21st birthday? And my mom looks at him like, you're not 21. And he's like, uh, <laughs> you know, it doesn't say anything. My mom just, it, she brushes it off, doesn't say anything, so he gets to play. Yeah. Right? And she never said anything. Yeah. Well, he ended up taking her out for Mother's Day a couple times, you know, and they became good friends. Oh, that's awesome. Now, again, I didn't know, you know, poker players. He wasn't anybody who was on my radar as like a famous pro in 2000. I, I don't know when he was 21, 20, 2001, 2002. Mm. But his brother was living here and I was introduced through him because I was doing I host poker. And, and he's like, oh, my brother's Antonio. I'm like, oh, you know, my mom knows him. That's cool. Well, so when Antonio came to town, they invited me to dinner. So my girlfriend and I go to dinner with them. And it was at Raw Sushi down here on Westheimer. There was eight or 10 of us. We eat. And he says, you know what? We're going to gamble for the bill. Do you want to play? I'm like, absolutely. <laughs> he whips out a deck of cards. And he's like, okay, you know, there's, uh, what is there? There were five couples. So there were four black cards, one red card. And whoever draws the red card has to pay. <laughs> and I said, well, there's magic cards. And he's like, no, no, no. He's, he let his girlfriend hold the card. She mixed them up. Yeah. I was second to draw. I drew the red card. Oh. <laughs> I was like, damn it. So, it was, you know, it was cool. I'm buying dinner for Antonio Spondiari because, yeah. you know, this was, I don't know, this was, I was 2008, 2009. Yeah. You know, so now he's an established pro and I'm just like honored to be in his sunshine yeah. right now. No, he's a pretty cool guy. And yeah, he's super cool. Yeah, yeah. He's super cool. I got to see him play at Bay 101 when he was in the Shooting Stars tournament. Oh, cool. Uh, him and Gus Hansen piled around a lot together. Yeah. So, you know, I got to take tons of pictures of everybody who was anybody at the time. Yeah. Uh, in 2004, 2005. They had a pretty cool show, the two of them. And I don't know how long it lasted, but they were doing 
random prop bets on everything that they would see just randomly on the street. Yeah. Yeah. That was like one of my favorite shows because uh, I know uh, my buddies and I would just try to prop bet on whatever we could. Yeah. Uh, that was always fun. But speaking of paying for the bill, uh, one of my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite trips to Vegas, I did almost everything free because we played credit card roulette yes. every time on everything. <laughs> and I, and I, and I just like basically just ran hot and didn't get my card pulled a single time while I was there. <laughs> so that was pretty epic. I'm sure that's where all my luck went. And then, you, you know. Yeah. You, you get to win credit card roulette, but you don't get it on the table. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right.